Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new guys, welcome, welcome. My name is Maria. If you are one of my subscribers guys, welcome, welcome. Well guys, as you can definitely see from today's look, I try to do a, um, I think it's called an infinity eyeliner, um, glitter eyeliner. So this is my first time trying this look guys for you. Um, yeah, if you definitely want to see how I created this look, all you have to do is just continue watching. If you want to be part of the family, please do subscribe, comment, and share my videos. Remember to hit that notification bell so like that you can be posted when I do upload a video. Yeah, see you on the next one. Bye guys. hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new or you are one of my subscribers guys welcome welcome well guys as you can definitely see here i already have my eyes already prepped so right here guys i am doing sort of like a new or another fall look using some neutral colors and glitter so the palette that i'm going to be using it's palette that came on my boxy charm a few months ago and also i'm gonna be using the uh, those color palette um yeah so i'm gonna be mixing in these eyeshadows to create this um look for you guys so i'm gonna start with the boxy charm one first no I'm gonna start with the those palette first. I'm gonna use that reddish brown on the palette as a transition color. So I am gonna start a little bit different on my transition color. Um, I'm gonna be doing um, sort of like an L. I'm just trying some new techniques here, something that I saw and grabbed my attention. So this entire look, guys, I didn't practice it. I just looked at the picture and I really enjoy the picture. So I am right here practicing basically what I uh, am seeing on the picture. So I am starting with the transition color out. I'm not going to do it as the um, Brazilian look. Wing it all the way out um, on my side temples. So I'm just going to keep it right into the tails of my um, brows and also I'm gonna bring it in towards my lower lashes and then I'm gonna bring it sort of like midway also not all the way into my um, inner corner so it's gonna go sort of like midway and then I'm gonna bring the crease color um, the dark color is gonna go all the way into my in a corner so right here i'm just going back again uh, with a clean and blending brush so i'm just blending out that uh transition color okay guys so i am still here blending in um that transition color uh with that clean and blending brush okay so right now i am gonna go in with the crease color so i'm gonna be using that brown chocolate color on the palette and i'm going to be using it as a yeah that's what i said as a crease color okay so basically what i am doing here guys i am gonna start packing in that uh, dark color so instead of going in in big or small circular motions, what I'm going to start doing on this part, I am definitely going to start patting in the color. Once I start patting in the color, I am going to bring that 
dark color all the way into my inner corner so as you can see on my transition color I left the transition color sort of like midway but I ended up bringing that um, dark color all the way in so on this part right here I did kind of notice that my transition color was sort of like fading and I didn't want that um, if I continue guys there's no purpose of putting in a, a transition color if you're gonna go over that so I didn't want to lose my transition color so I just went in back with the same um, transition blur yeah brush I mean um, so whatever the brush had that's what I went back and I passed that brush back so I already added the dark color on the crease, so I'm using my clean blending brush just to go back and blend that color and also re-blend the transition color. So I am also blending on the side because the look has that side, um, well the side is also part of the look. Um, so right here guys, don't mind my forehead, I'm sort of like breaking out, um, it's been a minute that I have like use a facial mask or yeah um due to me moving so yeah so right here i am gonna go in with a clean um, makeup wipe remover and i'm gonna start cleaning my eyelid so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna do a cut crease but not all the way so i'm gonna do it midway this time I'm not gonna do it like I did last time, like two thirds of my eye. So this one is definitely going midway. Um, I am definitely liking that um, cut crease real high. Has the um, Brazilian look. So most definitely I'm gonna cut it that way. So I'm gonna cut it uh, above my crease. And once I kind of cut it, I'm gonna go back and um, and clean that island so whenever I do cut my crease I never cut it in one swipe um I don't know I still don't have that down pack so I definitely go little by little so once I have it where I want it I go back in and clean it all the way or add more of the concealer and then I start cleaning all the way so usually I just start um, bring it down yeah bringing down the concealer down and once I have the concealer down I'm gonna go in back with my finger and blend in that concealer so once that it's blended I don't set it um I only do that when I'm gonna prime my entire eye um so right here I'm using another palette I'm using a pharmacy palette this is the smoky palette and I'm definitely gonna be using that um sort of like silver white shimmery eyeshadow so I am gonna be adding that to the concealer where I cut my crease okay so right here I'm gonna go back again into that uh, first palette that I used in the beginning no not that one I'm confusing these palettes today so I'm gonna go to the second palette again and on that second palette I am gonna take that shimmery orange um, on the palette so I'm gonna be placing it in between that dark color and on the white or silver color that I added um, I'm gonna be placing that color sort of like almost all the way into my inner corner so I'm just gonna leave sort of like my inner corner um, a little bit free you could say okay so after I applied um, the shimmery color on the eyelid I am definitely gonna go in with a white eyeliner so the white eyeliner that I am gonna be using um, it's uh, the I bought it off I think it was eBay guys and I got so pissed off when I was trying um I did use it in one of my last videos um and it did came out pretty good but I don't know what happened 
to me yesterday so when i went to use it i tried to sort of like clean it a little bit just to get a straight line and i ended up um pulling out the little the little thing so i ended up going in with a eyeliner um brush and i really don't use this eyeliner because i i don't know i just don't like it and it gave me a very horrible lines on the eyes um when i started putting it i don't know if it was a brush or if it was the eyeliner it was sort of wearing sort of like jack or showing with teeth or something okay so now i'm gonna go in with a brown eyeliner okay so i'm using this um gel eyeliner guys um, but I thought it would be sort of like a light color. So instead of me improvising and going in with the um, eyeshadow to do an eyeliner, I decided to go in with this one. So I'm going to be doing sort of like a wing eyeliner. But I'm just using just a regular gel eyeliner halfway. And then to complete that eyeliner, I'm going to go in with glitter. So the glitter that I'm using and the glue, it's from Sally Beauty Supply Store. Um, so I'm definitely going to do a very thick um, eyeliner with that glitter just going everywhere. Really didn't enjoy how it definitely looked. But just a little bit um, iffy about it just um, on the beginning part of it. So here guys, I'm definitely showing you that I ended up... Um, which I'm gonna call it priming my skin or doing the skin preparation so this time I didn't do it usually before I started recording so I decided to do it this way this time so I used my Ellie girl pro concealer in yellow also I ended up using the green one guys as you can definitely see my entire forehead it's breaking out so I just wanted to cover those um up so the foundation that I'm using, it's the um, one from Pharmacy, the Luminous Foundation. The pressed powder I used, it's from Pharmacy, the BB Cream in number 02. Um, the bronzer, it's also from Pharmacy. So right here, I'm just doing a little bit of contouring with the bronzer, removing the um, translucent powder. And the translucent powder, it's from my boxy charm that came in a few months ago. So here I am going in with my um, pencil from Wet and Wild and Nude Brown. Here I am going in with one of my favorite um, palettes from Pharmacy. This is the limited edition palette, the three in one. I ended up using the blush on the palette, and also I ended up using the highlight this one it's one of my favorite palettes the same one has the um, peach palette they're my favorite um, highlights so off camera I ended up putting on my lashes to complete my lashes so right here I went back to the first palette that I use I'm gonna use that matte um, nude color just to highlight my brow bone so right here on my lower lashes, I'm doing the same thing, guys. I'm putting the same transition color, crease color under my lower lashes. Okay, guys, so you already know me. I always like to go in with a clean blending brush and blend everything out just to make sure everything is blended. So I'm going to go back into the pharmacy palette and I'm going to use that silver color to highlight my inner corner. So right here, I'm going to be using my setting spray from Pharmacy, the Time Locker. I'm going to be using a brown lip liner also from Pharmacy. I definitely do not remember the number because it's a new one that I got last week. And also, I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner from Pharmacy. Um, I've been had this liquid um, lipstick, I mean but i cannot remember the name of it or the number so i definitely have to go and do a little bit of research what color um it does look like the um autumn story but it's a little bit lighter than that and a little bit brown so for my eyelashes i'm using um 
the mascara from Lily Lashes. And yeah, guys. So this is the last part. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye, guys.